Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is The Avid 2012 Part 3. Uh, at the last episode, I explained all about my Embark profile. This episode, I'm going to explain more about seeing the Dwarf Fortress world. And uh, that's why I wanted to show this one last time before we actually go into the world. So, this is the site I selected. Uh, this is the entire world. Um, there's elves which I'm at war with for some magical reason. And uh, the world is all flat. So, here we have the, the, the world area again. And now let's actually go into it and show you the world. Um, I'm going to choose my embark profile again. And yeah, there's the problem with the lobsters again. So, let's add those lobsters. Uh, enter add plus to do that. And, well, now I'm done and now I can embark. Um, I can also name my fortress something. Violence Fenced. Sure. Random name is fine there. <laughs> and the name of my group is the Rope of Sockets. I'm fine with that. Uh, random names are fine. Uh, let's press E to actually embark. And now uh, the game will load a while and maybe we'll get the spinning icon really. Yes, we have. The game might crash here too, but here we go. Blah 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 blah. Um, what's important on this screen is uh, what might be near you. Uh, cougars. With enough time to delve secure logins before the cougars get hungry. And uh, here is our fortress, Lidicus Tooth. Violence fenced. Strike the earth. Well, let's do that. Press enter. And now we're actually in game. Oh, and press pause to actually pause the game. So, uh, the game won't run and <laughs> your dwarfs won't die while you're busy looking around. So, this is your normal dwarf for the skin, and this might be very scary when you start this for the first time. Um, so, let me try and explain what's going on here. Uh, here on the right is a map. This is a map of the zone. This is like the zoomed in view on the left. I zoom the view of this, and here in the middle, these are this is the command menu. Now, first of all, let's take a look around the zone which I selected. I think we have the, the road here already. Um, but first, let's let's move this screen. For now, we won't need this. And uh, you can do that with the tab button. As you can see, move the menu. If press tab a couple of times, um, I want it like this. Yeah, with the main game screen on the left and map on the right for now. And uh, now I can start moving around with the arrow keys and look around on what this world has to offer. And uh, here are my dwarves and my animals. Uh, let's take a look at them. And a um, very important thing to know for a new player, you can look around things with the K button. That does usually bring down big bank this menu though, so <laughs> that, uh, that might be a problem. But with K button I can move around with the arrow keys on the left here. As you can see there's the, the cursor moving if I press the arrow keys. And I can look at the, all these things. So what is here? So this is a tree. As you can see a birch. There's a rock. There's a, a, a hen. A chicken. A hunting dog. A cat. Dogs. A duck. <laughs> a turkey. Cats. Uh, here's a couple of my dwarves. A miner, woodcutter, hunter. This must be the mason since he's in white. Yeah. Uh, here's a horse. Which I didn't take with me, but it automatically happens since you select the wagon in the start. Here's the butcher. And, well, that's my dwarves. Here's the road, which is just made out of loam, apparently. There's a little lake here filled with sevens. Uh, sevens of water. Uh, this is going down level, by the way. <laughs> More about that later. It has water in it. Um, and that's why it's blue. And, yeah, there, that's basically the start of the fortress and start of understanding what's going on here. It's like a shrub. And uh, yeah, like this you can look around the entire map. Um, uh, let's uh, go back out of the game menu uh, and see what else is here. So now I'm just going to move around with the arrow keys. And uh, well, let's move up a little bit, follow the road. And uh, well the road just starts here in the north just like you saw on the map. and. Uh, it continues here down to the south, although it seems to be rather gone here, but um, also there's a colony of termites. Good to know. Um, 
So yeah, that's the, the road in the middle. Uh, you don't see that as well on the map, unfortunately. But um, let's check around some more. In the north should be a river, and there we go. There's a river. It's uh, filled with sevens of water. Seven means it's full. Uh, water styles, they go up to sevens, like one, two, seven. Seven is completely full, one is nearly empty. And um, yeah, if uh, that's all those tiles have that water in them. Um, anyway, so let's check around some more. So, so this area, there's a whole lot of lakes. It's completely flat, apparently. And um, yeah, there's lakes, there's some trees. There's no hills, unfortunately. They'll, well, we'll see those later. Um, and um, well, well, that's basically it. So, so, so here, okay, here's your view. Now, there's more to see. This is just one level of Dwarf Fortress, and um, this might be hard to grasp at the beginning. This is like you're watching a cube, and you're watching one slice of the cube at a time. This slice of the cube happens to be at the surface. Now, if I go a slice up, you, you can see it on the left here, there's a zero here now. If I go up a level, it's at one, and now I don't see anything. I see some items here, and, and grayish blocked out view the road is beneath here but it's not on this level which is why it's so so hard to see and the green things well they're tops of trees so yeah on this level one level above the surface you can see the tops of the trees basically and that's all there is on this level but uh, if I go a level down I'm I'm here this is the lakes level I uh, don't see the ground anymore I'm one level down and well Here's a lake and a river, and a tea in the river. Um, let's take a look at the tea for a second. What's that? It's an alligator snapping turtle. A turtle. Well, that's not that bad. Could be worse. Snapping turtles are probably bad. Um, there's so many types of, of um, animals in Fort Fortress, and not all are bad. Some are... I think, I think these might be? I, I don't know. There are probably no carp, but... Um, yeah, you know about the carp. Um, let's see, so, so that's the, the menu. Um, oh, by the way, I should tell you how to do this. Uh, moving around is very important, moving up and down. Um, so, arrow keys just move around normally. If you hold shift and arrow keys, you move around fast. Uh, if you want to go up a level, it's shift and bracket left. Well, add a notation or something and it is to, to tell you what the, the exact item is on your keyboard it's, it's shift comma shift comma and shift dot basically almost most american keyboards american 101 you know the standard type of keyboard which i also have even though i'm in, in the all in the Netherlands because dutch keyboards are shit <laughs> um so shift dot shift comma makes you go up a level shift dot makes you go down down level and um, well, I can check down some level some more, but there's nothing here. I can't see anything. It's under the ground. Uh, I can go up some levels more, but <laughs> as again, it's a flat country, and there's nothing to see here up in the sky. Later on, I might build a tower there, but not yet. And hey, these are very, very important buttons to learn. Shift dot, shift comma, uh, the bracket left, bracket right, basically, and um, what sort of brackets they are, and. Uh, yeah, this way you can can view through the slices of the cube. Um, so uh, you've seen this area basically. It's pretty simple. Let me try move to my other fortress, which I have prepared, so you can see what this sort of area will become. So so this is just a start. This is having nothing and starting with your fortress. Now I'll switch to my other fortress and show you what you can get with the fortress like this. I think this will help you uh, grasp your head around what Dwarf Fortress is. Um, so uh, let me save and fix that for a second here. Okay, here we go. So now I've moved to an another fortress of mine which I've played in the past and uh, which I was preparing on and uh, well, checking the new version on. So let me show you this fortress to, to give you an idea what you can do in Dwarf Fortress and uh, also I can unpause the game here. So. You can see the little dwarfies moving around. Here's some some kids moving around and dwarves doing all their jobs. And um, 
well, let me explain what you're just seeing here. Um, first of all, the wall. Uh, I'm going to press K and show the wall over here. I, I made a giant wall around my fortress to protect my dwarves. It's a giant Kaoli Knight uh, rock wall. It's uh, made of red rocks. Here. Here's a stockpile of them. It's Kaoli Knight, which is uh, a type of rock which is red. And uh, I thought it would be nice to have blood red walls, right? So so I did. <laughs> and, um, so I have Kaoli Knight walls. And um, that makes a nice, nice red view. Um, and there's other things in here, like here's a workshop, a mason's workshop, a wood furnace to burn wood for charcoal, a big wood stockpile, um, a carpenter, a crafts dwarf, butchers to, to butcher animals, a tanner to tan the, their skins, a refuse stockpiles to, well, where a whole lot of remains are, like uh, a goblin's left back tooth. Or his right lower leg, or his left upper arm, or his left lower leg, or his left floating rib bone. 123 of them. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is the refuse stockpile. This is where all your blood and guts go, basically. When you, you kill a rat, where do you leave the skull? Well, you leave it in a, a refuse stockpile. In Dwarf Fortress, at least. And you leave that outside, since otherwise they rot inside. And, well, more on that later when I get to it. Uh, also, here's a, a, a dwarf stockpile. Here's some dead dwarfs which are rotting. And um, these are dwarfs I had which were killed in a goblin attack. I had a, gob a horrible attack of goblins attacking with me with, uh, with crossbows. The, the, the motherfuckers, they, they were standing on the edge of the fortress and shooting in with crossbows, and that was a problem. But uh, <laughs> that's the fun of Dwarf Fortress. Um, let's see. Also, apparently my bridge here is broken, but um, anyway, that was level down. So, so that's this level. Oh yeah, in the top here, this little party, this is a barracks. Some dwarves of mine are training over here. They are watching a fighting demonstration, a combat drill, and having a, there's a baby, which is there for some reason. And um, this is where my, my dwarves train. It's the barracks. There's, there's dwarf barracks in other games, like, yeah, yeah, of course there are. Um, Anyway, let's let's move up one more level, and here is just um, yeah the walls, and I'm still building more things on those walls, and cleaning up things, <laughs> things, 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 and well made a couple little towers here as well. This is for defense. This is later. So so this is one level up. This is another level up. This is the top of that tower. You can see those walls again. Let's go a level down, down, and uh, well you've seen this level by now. Down one more time. This is also uh, this is yeah, main level of, of the fortress. Um, here's more walls. This ones I smoothed instead of just built myself. Um, here's trading depot. There's a forge for uh, yeah, melting iron and making iron weapons. And um, what else? There is another barracks with archery targets, so my marks dwarves, my crossbow dwarves can train. Although they hardly ever do that since it's still bugged or whatever anyway more um, there's another refuse stockpile since I, well, I have a lot of refuse and um, let's see there's a bridge I had another bridge in the top but it's apparently gone here's some new dwarves walking in since I apparently had uh, a new wave of dwarves you start with seven out of dwarves but later on more dwarves will join your fortress and well, there's a bridge uh, here are some traps. If enemies walk over these tiles, they'll get killed. Since there's a trap here with um, weapons in them, there's like five large serrated iron discs. And if a goblin steps on that, he'll probably lose his legs, which is the point. Um, also, here's a forest. This is a Myrtle Forest, which is a special zone. And why, that's why there's so much blue stuff around here. Uh, these things, these are old bolts fired from the goblins probably which are just here um at least these yeah things the, the bolts uh otherwise in the fortress is just yeah bubble bulbs grass um trees shrubs it's it's greenery <laughs> it's uh it's like skyrim out here but a um, little bit low res and um here i'm digging some things there's uh, 
this I'm here I'm digging a moat basically so I'll have to funnel the animal enemies through some traps which is not a good thing and uh, I'm doing the same here in the north and uh, you, you get an idea yet you, you're watching the fortress run um, so this is one level also here are like a whole lot of chickens or uh, turkeys even I set up a, a turkey explosion a chick explosion and uh, now I have a lot, a lot of turkeys um, and that's it is for this level oh, here's some some iron which I found there's a, a bin with coal and bin with iron bars which I've melted a whole lot and some ammo stockpiles there's just a whole lot of stuff um, okay so down warmer level uh, here you see the bottom of the moat on the left here and you can, as you can see it does not connect with the rest of my fortress it would be very bad if it did and the enemies could just walk inside now they really need to go like uh, walk up here then to here and then into my fortress up there so <laughs> that's very important to keep your fortress safe more on that later though um, so this level uh, here's a farm a brewery still there's stockpiles of stuff, there's a furniture stockpile, there's a stone stockpile over here uh, there's a cloth stockpile and a leather stockpile and a gem stockpile for gems you find here found some uh, rough jap jasper opals, opals even here I, I've created some stuff myself, I've created a, a kimberlite earring an ex exceptional one and a crown which I made myself for a dwarf made which is made out of kaolinite and has black zircons in it and uh, that's uh, another thing you can see uh, another stockpile here with more finished goods which are pretty useless uh, a stockpile here with refuse which with bones and stuff like with refuse you have good refuse and bad refuse uh, rotting and not rotting like the bones won't rot so they're okay so I, I set my stockpiles to bring all the bones inside and let the, the frost, the rotty flesh in, uh, fleshy rotting bits outside even um, there's a furniture stockpile for tables and doors and pots and stuff like that okay so down another level oh <laughs> maybe I haven't told you about this yet these axes in the middle this is my central staircase you will see this all the way down it's a, a central staircase which uh, every X of this is a, a stair yeah, and the dwarves can go up and down there so that's where my dwarves go up and down levels and uh, you'll see that all the way down um, anyway more uh, what am I showing here here is a dining room this is hard to see since there's also engravings on the wall there's there's a detailed engraving of uh, an emerald good gems or of a dwarf uh, it's wrist wrist and uh, he's traveling and it uh, relates to the foundation of smooth racks the, of by the harmonious bells of both the tongues of crystal in the spring I don't know that's maybe the name of my fortress uh, smooth racks yeah <laughs> that was the name of my fortress <laughs> also not a randomly generated one smooth racks very smooth um, let's see so here's a dining room here's tables dwarves will eat at that and um, on the left here there's a sleeping room it's also engraved which has lots of details on the floors an image of the broker an image of um, a weasel nail or it's just a weasel nail ring or whatever an image of windows an image of a tick crescent and also in between all that is a bed so here my dwarves sleep and here on the top they have little individual bedrooms a little bedroom uh, and you can actually see in them um, and there's a dwarven child living there apparently a Marx dwarf, a peasant, a broker and well here my old dwarves live uh, these are noble rooms which are special dwarves which I'll get handle way way later and um, oh yeah if you thought it was, this was looking like dogs it is this is the puppy stockpile this is where I keep all my dogs inside and train them and train them in the war dogs and I stuck them all in a little room so they'll breed like rabbits and breed more dogs and breed more puppies and I'll need, need way more puppies and uh, well that's how it's working out it's, uh, that's why I have a stock puppy stockpile there 
this in the north is a hospital which I haven't um, completely set yet there's some, some old dwarves which are hurt which are uh, yeah, sleeping there like this one he has his left hand hurt this one he saw as well in his left upper leg the dwarves can hurt get hurt in so many different ways and uh, well if they hurt they will need to recuperate in the hospital they don't die uh, of other causes <laughs> Like, die, like, if they don't die at once. If they don't die at once, they'll probably die in the hospital because they won't have enough treads or a doctor to help them. Um, okay, so that's it for this level. Um, around here are some other things I've dug out to check for metals, basically. Mining to uh, see if I can find some iron. Um, so that's this living level. Uh, down some more is a storage level. Which has um, this is a weapon stockpile, an armor stockpile, and a big furniture stockpile. And there's some leather works in the middle over here, and uh, a shell stockpile in the middle. Gotta have enough shells. And let's go down some more. Here's some more mining levels. I've dug out some uh, more kaolinite here. Um, going down some more. Uh, here is a graveyard, which is completely filled by now, I think. Yeah, there's all sorts of graves with all sorts of dwarves resting here. I had a lot of dwarves die. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, a lot of dwarves died in my fortress, and, uh, well, that's okay. There's there's even a baby in here. Oh. And, uh... And a bunny. <laughs> anyway, that's all being worked on. I'm digging out a second, um second graveyard as well and uh, let's go back to the graveyard thank you um so what else is there uh if we go down some more well here i can't go down that much or, well i can if i go down some more down way down from the surface way 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 down we'll find the caves which is something you'll also find in dwarf fortress i go down some level some more here are the caves which are well caves uh, there's every dwarf fortress map has caves under it, and um, it is more than just caves. It's a giant network. It's if you've played D Dungeons and Dragons, the Underdark, you get that idea basically. It's all a lot of connected cave systems, and they're all connected. You could like uh, go to the bottom left of the world and go into a cave. And then go through the caves all the way, all the, all the entire world. Go get out somewhere in the top right. And you could do that. Well, as an adventurer, but I <laughs> don't think you'll survive. It's way too hard. But this is technically possible. So all these these caves are connected in some ways. And they're giant. Um, also, what you're looking at here is a little well. Here is what my where my dwarves get their their drinks, their their water at least. Here's a dwarf with the bucket, and he'll probably get some some water for some other dwarf. And here's an, an underground lake, and I made a little area so my dwarves can use the underground lake. Um. Okay, and yeah, down here there's way more caves, and well, this is just one level of cave. Um. If I go down some more here, yeah, here, I'll go even deeper and reach more cave levels. So that was the first cave level. I'm going down a whole lot more and um, a whole lot more. I should be able to hit the second level of caves here soon. Yeah, here we're getting close. Here's the second level of caves, and this is another cave which is just way deeper and it's also connected to the other one, or maybe not. But uh, yeah, there might be some nasty, nasty enemies in here. The deeper you go with the caves, the nastier the enemies. Remember that. Uh, and if possible, do not open your fortress to the caves. Uh, but uh, anyway, if I go down some more. Uh, go down some more. There's another way here. And down some more. This was just dig out. Here, I was working on uh, magma. Which I feel a little bit. Um... Here's a magma pool underground. Since there's there's always magma, this is just a pool. But if I follow it, there will be magma seas underground. It guaranteed in every site. There's still people asking for this, but every site guaranteed has magma. Just dig down and you'll find magma. If you don't find it, dig down in another place and you will find it. 
So, uh, yeah, and here uh, the plan was to uh, make a magma forge, which uses the, the heat from the magma instead of uh, charcoal or coal, which is maybe more cost efficient. And, uh, well, way more on that way later. <laughs> way later when I get to explaining that. But, um, well, then, yeah, that's about the deepest I've dug so far. You can go even deeper, and there's a magma season. Well, let's just show you some magma seeds. Here, here they are. Oh, here, by the way, this is the semi molten rock. This is basically the bottom of the world. You can't dig through it. You might be able to dig through some adamantine, which is the best material in the world. Um, this is some microcline. I don't know if I've discovered some adamantine yet. Don't think I have. Anyway, uh, down here in the magma sea levels, you might see uh, an adamantine spire sticking out, and um, well, it's, it's a fun thing. Uh, <laughs> that adamantine spire, you, well, I cannot say what can I say about this without spoiling it. Well, it's the best metal in the fucking game. It is, but if you open it, fun comes out. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So yeah. So you'll have to figure that out for yourself. And um, well, that's the Dwarf Fortress world, basically. Uh, I have, I've done a, a view now from top to bottom, basically, of my fortress. And uh, let's go back to the surface. So this is all the way down. There's some things underneath this, but I'm, I'm leaving to that for you to find yourself. But um, yeah, um, this is basically the bottom of the world. So let's go back to the surface. I'm pressing F1 for a hotkey button. And... Uh, here we are back at the surface of my fortress. And, uh, well, holy shit, I'm at 70 minutes already. Anyway, uh, I've shown you a lot of things in this. And I hope this will give you an idea what Dwarf Fortress is. What, what you're going to do with this. You're going to create a fortress like this. Maybe completely different. Maybe you'll dig a hole. Maybe you'll build walls. But this is the idea. Make a fortress, make your dwarves run, and... Yeah, <laughs> manage them. There's no ending to this game. There's, uh, there really isn't. It's just you until you either give up or get killed. <laughs> and uh, that's yeah, part of the fun in this game. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, that's the world. And that's the idea. You make a dwarf fortress. You manage the dwarves, and uh, hopefully they survive. And maybe you won't. <laughs> maybe you will. And uh, the first of a couple of times you won't, but that's part of the fun, because remember, losing is fun, <laughs> that's uh, the motto of Dwarf Fortress, and is why I've been talking about so fun so many, many times in these episodes. Um, let's see, well, this video has gone long enough, uh, you really should have an idea now what to do. Next video, we'll go back to the fortress I showed in the beginning of the video, the new one with the Elf War, oh boy, and uh, we'll continue with that. Uh, as for now, this has been, well, yeah, more than enough, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.